Johnny Murta is one of the finest jockeys on the planet. He's won more than 100 Group 1 races. He's ridden for the Aga Khan, Sir Michael Stout and Aidan O'Brien and been associated with horses like Cinder, Ridgewood Pearl, Rock of Gibraltar, High Chaparral and Yates. Now he partners Ocean Park on his big OE. He spoke to Trackside before linking up with our Kiwi champ. I was in Hong Kong at the, the international races there in December and I met Gary um, Gary Hennessy and he just asked me, telling me about Ocean Park going to Europe for the big races and he asked me would I be interested in riding them. So, you know, it was it was it was you know, it was great to get such an offer of such a good horse and um, he said he'd be going to Dubai for the duty free first and um, then on to Europe. So that's that's how I, I heard about the horse and that's how I picked him up. I've watched um, all his runs. Um, very impressive. Very straightforward horse. He looks straightforward. Um, he looks like he's he, he, he can maintain a good high tempo. You know, he seems to get going at the 600 and he seems to be able to maintain that good high tempo. And I was very impressed with his, like, to win the Cox Plate. Like, the Cox Plate is a huge race in Australia. And to win that, like, you have to be a good horse. And um, I think his comeback run, his co or his second run back this this time was, was a big win as well. And uh, the trainer says he came out, Gary said he came out with the race very well. So, all, all going well for Dubai. I'm going to Dubai on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I'm going to be there. So I'm. I, I was speaking to Gary this morning, and he's looking forward to to meeting up again. We're going to have a bit of dinner, discuss tactics, and uh, he said he is a girl out there who who usually rides and walks. So I don't know if I'll be riding and walk before the big race. But as I said, I watched all his videos. I'll be able to speak to to Gary and to his work rider. And but he looks like he's a solid, straightforward horse. That's a good race, you know. It's a mile and one. Um, it's it, it's a very fair track. It's a big long back straight, big sweeping bend, and you've got two furlongs, just over two furlongs of the straight. So I think it'll I think it'll probably suit suit this horse. You know what I mean? Um, you know you got the very best horses from from Europe. Um, there's always a couple of Japanese, maybe a few Hong Kong. So it's a very international race. I have a good record with Royal Ascot. Um, good on the Aussie horses. So all the horses coming up from from the down under, I've been lucky for me. I've ridden Swazia, I've ridden Haradison, I've ridden Star Spangled Banner. So hopefully uh, Ocean Park is another one that can come up and uh, do the job. It's, it's a brilliant meeting. Uh, Royal Ascot is one of my favourite favourite weeks of the year. And, um, you know, it's, it's a great track, uh, big atmosphere. It's a 2,000 metre race. Um, you need a horse that can stay at a distance. It's always run at, 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 at a pretty fast pace. It would be it would be equivalent to the Cox Plate. It would be kind of a um, wait for age, older horses, full on from the word go, big climb up the hill, and you know you have to you have to stay the distance, the two thousand meters, because it's a pretty severe finish. But he looks like the ideal horse for it. You know, you're definitely coming over to take all the best horses in Europe in all the best races in England and Ireland. Um, Champions Stakes is a huge day in Ireland. Um, always, always a smallish field, but but like the top, the top three horses in Europe will be there. So it's left-handed, uh, two thousand meters, bit the same, an uphill finish. Um, and as I said, it's 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 a wonderful race. It's a great track, and I hope I hope he can if he if he turns up in Leopardstown on song he'll be. You know, he'd be one of the fancied horses. It's a big mission, and he's starting off. He started off a couple of weeks ago. He's starting off in, in February. The Irish Champion Stakes is in September. And as I said, you know, he's taking on um, Dubai first. The best of the horses in the world are going to run in that. He's taking on Royal Ascot. And that's, as I said, it, you know, all the best horses in Europe are there. And then he's going on to Leopardstown. So it's a huge, huge task ahead of him. And he has to be, he has to be a hundred percent in in each race. But, um, you know, I think the trainer is very happy with him. He he knows the horse very well, and um, I think he's stable in the new mark with Mike the Cock. 
and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure he'll have the best of the best there, and he'll have everything, everything at his disposal. You know, good gallops. I think he's got a treadmill, um, swimming pool. He's got he's got everything, so he will have a great chance. But it is, it's a mighty mighty task what he's taken on.